then that's a whole good answer. Um, so, so we talked about kind of the ideal variation of this uh, this concept, which is you know very uh, technical, very very careful. Okay, the arm over the thing, put the hand, turn, all this, right? There's kind of like a uh, you know like a drum humble version of this, you know, uh, which is basically speaking, if I can get my shoulder heavy on their chest and pull an underhook, I kind of have an escape. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say John here has my back. He's got his seat belt. This time, let's say he has some side moves. And he's taken me to the choke side. Bum, 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 bum. Because we're drama. Mm, right? Okay. Now, what we're going to do, guys, in order to enable this escape, is we're going to break every rule that we've been taught to not break, okay? So, the first thing is, especially by the way, let's be real, the best way to make this accessible is if he tries to strangle you. So he tries to strangle you. So, yep, who's doing a choke? So first off, I gotta fight the hands. I'm defending this choke, okay? I'm not saying you need the choke to do this, but it does make it easier to access, all right? What I'm going to do from here, guys, we've talked about clearing the bottom hook quite a bit, we're going to clear the top hook, okay? I can do that a number of different ways, but the easiest way, really, is um, just to go to turn my hips over. Mm. So I was here, let's say you're holding that hook kind of tight, John, is I'm going to kick that bottom leg back and kind of turn my pelvis to face the floor. So here, he has his hooks. All right, go ahead, hold on. Kick the bottom leg back, turn my pelvis to face the floor, and I begin to work to use being sort of my post leg. What I'm going to do from here, I'm holding tight, I'm going to put my forehead towards the floor and start turning it. At this point, once I have this, if I can just get my weight on top of John, it's like, please, and get my head on the floor, uh, please take my back again. As long as I have this arm, he can't really get back. Okay? From here, my weight stays here. This is the mistake people make when they try to do this counter, like or similar counters. As long and my weight has to stay heavy so that my arm can become light and become the underhook. If I try to take my weight, if I try to get back on top by continuing to sort of rotate, he's gonna follow me. The second my weight stops hitting John, he can retract that bottom arm exactly and get back on top. Okay? The cool part about this, guys, is this is like the number one best option, I would say, as far as, well, this and one other, which we'll go into in a minute, which is we're going to probably next, maybe Wednesday, that's similar. Um, but in, in rather, um, this is like one of the best options if you're in the process of having your back hit the table. So for example, if let's say uh, John has me on the side, right, he gets a seatbelt, let's say like you're on your knees behind me. You know, like that knee pillow back seat thing, and then your knee slides under my head, right? And you start sliding to take my back, so you step this thing over, right? And you start sliding to take my back, and before he's taken it, I get here. I get here. I stay nice and heavy, and I work under hook out. See what I'm saying? Or maybe I made a mistake. Basically, if I made a mistake and exposed my back. Uh, here, he gets his arm drag. He begins to take my back. Okay. Here, I get heavy on this side. So it's like John is continuing to take my back. I get my underhook. Does that make sense, guys? It's kind of a pretty simple premise, but it's a very powerful escape if you get confident with it. There's some calculated risk. If you screw up, you might get strangled. Fight the hand, you don't get strangled. Right? But the basic of the weak jelly is if they've taken me to the choke side, I'm scissoring. Weight's going to go on the shoulder and the head, and I'm going to hop up. I want to hold this bottom arm. I want to hold out of that thing. I can grab the sleeve, like around the tricep. I can hug the arm, whatever. I want to hold it. 
here, boom. And then what I'm looking for is to keep my weight posted heavy so that I can elbow back and recover that. Yeah. Here, and again, if you start working for chokes, you've got to fight the hands, keep yourself safe. Right? From here, scissoring this back, kicking this forward, coming up onto my head. So, Mike, you want to try to clean back now? As long as you can't retract that arm, I'm kind of okay. Here, pulling that up back. Let me touch it. Scissor your legs. Get to that tripod. Yes. Is it a try it out? Take it up. One, two, three.